the next one is um, a composition of a graphic language i said it that keep on we are saying uh, this uh, engineering graphics is a mode of uh, communication it is a language like this what are the uh, composition it is having so mainly uh, graphics uh, the language uses the lines the lines will be used to represent the surface edges counters that will be a straight or edge surface edges what are the if you take this cut of small component what is the edge you click toothpaste box the edges are there that will be represented by lines the car the surface the curved surface will be represented by lines like this the lines is the major role that will define the a different features of the object like a uh, surface edges or counters and next in this language we can say it as a drawing or the drafting the both are we can say and the drawing can be done using free hand instrument and computer these are the three methods or these are the three uh, modes we can draw the sketches by free hand without using any instrument we can uh, uh, draw the sketches and by using instrument we can get it and by using computer how it looks next slide we will go here here it looks free hand sketching means here we not use any instrument the bare hand by using pencil we will do the sketching See, this is how it looks if you do the free hand sketching of a component so this is how it will looks the same drawing if you do by using instrument instruments nothing but scale a compass protractor or uh, or divider or any set square like this many instruments uh, drawing instruments are there so later we will going to discuss on that by using that uh, drawing instrument if you draw the sketch or if you draw the uh, drawing how it will look this is how it looks with the proper uh, finishing will becomes everything dimensioning and all perfectly we can do the the drawing this is what the instruments by using instrument we can get the or we can do the drawings the next part now it is computer everywhere computerization the more the design or the this drawings can be done by using computer how it will be looks we have a software benches like uh, i said it that autocad pro e solid ed solid works these are the different software are uh, there to design the component this is how the by using computer we can do the sketching even though we can make a 3d model of an object or 3d model of an uh, a product see this is an example of bicycle so we can see the entire the view how the uh, normal bicycle looks the same way in the computer we can make in a virtual model of that and we can do the analysis so this is what three modes of drawing the free hand drawing and uh, by instrument the by using instrument we can do the drawing and by using computer and using software different software to uh, do the drawings the next i said the example of uh, cat that by using computer how the things will be i am taking a, a, a view a graphical view of a car if you the cars how they manufacture the car you see the by you, you can see the a uh, slides over here so you see uh, the car different uh, view of the car this is the a complete uh, car how it will be looks after finishing final finishing in the by using software and is the wire frame beam see these are the different parts inside many parts are there wheel outside chassis window steering and mechanical moving arrangements shock absorber everything will be they will design it properly they will design and this is the surface designing sheet metal the designing will be do see this is how the the modeling with, uh, by using software they will going to design it how it looks after that they will going to add the colors and the final car will be seen in the computer Uh, how you lo uh, look you saw the bicycle in the previous slide no same way they will going to design it uh, earlier like this before coming to the final product the in the software it will look like this and then we are getting the final product this is how by using the cad they are designing the different components not only automobile cars they can use any parts any products machineries and all they can design first and then they will go for manufacturing here one more example see the uh, <clears throat> the wireframe look the outside body of the drawings by using uh, a small the wires they will uh, how it will looks first the concept design before going to the uh, actual design in the computer they will going to design a concept design it's called concept design how the car should be uh, designed they will going to do it with the a, a normal uh, the uh, the wires they will going to make the epitorial view of that they will going to do then they will go for the actual cad modeling this how the concept how the concept of this one uh, computer 
is used in a designing the first they will going to design by using a uh, computer aided design software they will going to create a model in the first uh, the image you can see it they will going to create a end model this is the piston uh, connecting rod is there so how it in, looks they will going to design it later they will going to analyze in a cae what is analyze that means i said you that they will going to apply some load because it should work be under the load pressure stress will be there it is a example of gearbox here see they will going to in the analysis how um it, they were they were going to analyze means here they are going to apply the load the rotation they will going to give in a computer how much speed it will rotate how much torque is generated everything they will going to calculate whether the shaft whatever they design whether it withstand the load or whether it it withstand the torque applied load is whether it is withstanding whether it is breaking or not everything they will going to check it using analysis software computer analysis analysis software everything is holds good then the design will go to the manufacturing if it is not holds good if it is break down if something damage is happened then again they will come back to the designing then they will going to do modification design and they will going to incorporate the changes and again they will send back to the analyze in computer they will going to analyze it and again they will check it everything is okay then the design will go to the manufacturing in the manufacturing computer aided manufacturing they use modern robot robots are there cnc is are there so different kind of machines automation machines are there they will feed the input to the machine the machine will do the operations and we will get the final product this is how the computer is influencing in the manufacturing field got it next elements of engineering drawing what are the main elements we have in a engineering drawing the first one is graphical language and word language when you see the drawing uh, i shown the in the previous uh, in the previous class i shown in uh, a typical engineering drawing i shown it so what are the things you can uh, see there mainly it contains lines a different type of lines are there on uh, different type of shapes are there and then after that it have the word in uh, numbers are there and uh, alphabets are there so these are the two things you can see that is a major the elements in drawings nothing more than that only you can see the lines and all the graphical representation of with the different shapes or geometries and all there and to show the dimension and uh, to give the specification we use the letters so by we can uh, tell you that these are the two elements graphical language and the word language graphical language means when you see the image we are going to draw it on the drawing sheet by the different uh, views front view or side view top view with the use of lines so that is the the graphical language and next you can see in the the image see the whatever the marking in the red these are the shapes different shape desired shape are there this is these are called as a graphical language and next the word language you can the dimensions are there by new different numbers and these are the, the the letterings are there to show the radius or diameter what are they so the specification of the uh, the shape so by using these non, uh, the words or numbers that is called as word language so these are the two major element in any of the engineering drawing you can see it coming to this basic knowledge of drafting first when you get the products what we'll do we'll uh, decide a different type of lines by using lines we will going to do the sketching and then projection method i said the front view top view side view which side i need to see and to get the information of the product we'll do it and next geometric construction what is the shape of that whether it is a, a circle or triangle or rectangle or any other uh, a polygon type of uh, geometry that we'll going to check it everything and we will do the uh, sketching or drawing we'll do it after that with the word language we'll do the lettering the dimensions uh, of uh, the numbers will i uh, enter there what is the dimension of that uh, drawing and all we will going to do it coming to the next topic a uh, traditional drawing tools what are the different drawing tools are used to draw the drawings okay the list of drawing instrument how many instruments we have around 22 like one by one drawing boards drawing sheets drawing sheet holder set square large size compass small uh, block of uh, box compasses large size divider small box divider scale 6 inch and 12 inch scales protractor 
French curve, drawing pencil, sandpaper, arrays, drawing pins, clips, cello tape, duster, drafting machine, sketchbook, roller, scale, pencil sharpener, and uh, sheet folder. So like this, see plenty of the uh, drawing instruments are there. But don't worry, we'll not use all of it. This was earlier, before uh, computer is coming. Before computer is coming, all the sketchings they are doing on this by using these instruments. They have the drawing boards on the drawing board. They everything will be done with the manual. Nowadays, us manual is almost wiped out. We are using computers. We are using software to create the any kind of drawings. So this is just to know what the beauty of the previous the, uh, drawings. We have this list of uh, the instrument they were using. To do the uh, drawings, and one by one, this is how drawing book, drawing board looks. Earlier, the drawing board looks like this, but nowadays it is not there. See, this is the drawing board. They are keeping the drawing sheets here. The lamp is arranged here to get the proper uh, view or clear view. And uh, this is the holding bar. They can use to keep the pencil, scale, other components, everything they are going to use. The supporting structure. These are the rail is there. They can keep all the tools and all. They can keep it over here. This is how the typical drawing board looks. And next drawing tools. See, there is a, a T squares. You can use it and the uh, the triangle triangles. They are used uh, using there. And next the adhesive tape, and the pencils, different pencils to uh, uh, be two H H B for the thickness. It will give the different thicknesses. They can use it the different type of pencils, and then uh, a sandpaper and the compost unit. They compost and next uh, pencil the erasers and erasing uh, shield because if you want to mark uh, the drawing is having multiple lines, you want to erase only the particular the portion. They can use the uh, the shield. They can use it and only they can the, the related area. They can erase it. Like this, and uh, circle templates, and tissue papers, and sharpener, and clean paper. That is a uh, the drawing sheet, and these are the some of the important tools. Whatever they use in order. Okay. Next, coming to the drawing sheet. This is how the drawing sheet looks, because each and everything should be followed with the standard dimensions. Okay. See, this is the the inside line. What you can see, this is the size of drawing sheet. This is the size of drawing sheet. You can see the different uh, type of uh, sheets are there. What are the shape? The inner line is the defines the size. That is, if you use the A4, the A4 dimension will come. If you use the A3, A3 dimension will come. At the bottom, we have a title box. All dimensions in mm. All dimension in millimeter. The title box having the dimension of 150 mm and 50 mm thick. In this small area, we'll go into enter the uh, details, details of the uh, the drawing. That is already I told you that what are the details we we'll have, there, what are the details, what type of part it is, what name of the part, and where it is the uh, what material they use, and where it is manufactured, who is designed, and where it should be sent. All some of the Basic information of that object, uh, this drawing will be entered here. And outside, this is the border. Outside border will be there. That border should have the 20 mm thickness or 20 mm uh, between the drawing sheet to the outer border. And uh, the other left side will be 30 mm, and right side will be 20, and top and bottom will be having the This is of 20 mm. This is the this area. We will, will not do any drawing in this area. Only drawings will be done inside the second line. Okay, this is how the typical drawing sheet looks. See, I said you know this is the drawing sheet here. This is outside area and this is the area of inside. And the title box is there. In the title box, they will give the a naming. What is the product name? All other things they will point to. Enter it here. It is an example. This is a small a, a drawing of a component. See, they given the name of the component here and what material it is there. 
and drawn by who uh, did this drawing, all the number of quantity, date of uh, creating this, what type of uh, tool and everything. They will going to use it and which company is uh, doing this, all those things they will going to enter it here. This is how the drawings they have done on drawing sheets. Next title box. In a title box, different sections are there, names, each will have the 10 mm bit. So each row, each box will have the 10 mm and the title box here will be having 50 and here 50, 53 boxes they will going to make it out and the description they will going to give and what is the, the part name, company name will going to enter it here and the date created by, checked by everything they will going to enter it here. So it will carry, company name will be done with a 20 mm uh, thickness they will going to use it and other will be 10 mm the row height will be used. This is what a sheet, different type of sheets I said you know. So A5, A5 is the smallest uh, sheet it will be having dimension of 148 mm into 210 mm length and width and if, if you open if you unfold it then it will become this entire area is become a4 see this is this area is a5 okay if you unfold it if you extend this then the complete area of this you can see this is a complete area so this will be a4 this will having the length 210, see this from year to year, it will have the uh, length 210 and the height, or you can say this will be 297. And then if you open it again, if you open it, then if you double it, then it will become A3. The complete, the area covered with the yellow marking, this is A3. Understood? This complete area, see this complete area is a3 that is A4 is there if you open if you double it A4 then it will become A3 it's a bigger this dimension is 297 is height and the width is 420 so 420 is the width this is what the dimension of A3 this complete area is A3 again if you open this A3 then it will become A2 this entire this entire area has become uh, A2 and this dimension will be 420 is the width and height will be 594 mm. and same if you open it again if you double it then it will become a1 this entire area is a1 and this dimension is 594 will be the height and width will be 841 like this again if you open it then a0 will come that a0 will be having a, a double of that means width will be having 841 and height will be 1189 mm this is what the dimension of the sheets a5 a4 a2 a3 and as well as a1 next uh, concept is lines so what are what is mean by lines and what are the different types of lines we have lines <coughs> is a, a thickness varied according to the use of pen and pencil and the size of uh, lines will be uh, tell as a thickness will be medium lines the thickness of line is 0.2 mm thickness and 0.1 is thin lines we can say and where it, they will going to use it uh, uh, the medium thickness line will be outlines dotted lines cutting planes cutting plane lines and thin line will be used for center lines section lines dimension lines extension lines uh, what 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 and all this will next we have uh, the sketch we are going to know what is outline, what is dotted line, what is central line, what is dimension line, what is leader line. Everything we are going to discuss. See, this is what we have a different type of lines. See, this is a continuous line, thick line. That means width will be 0.5 mm to 0.2 mm. This is the width of that, uh, thickness of the line. Where and all they will need to use. What is the notation? These lines are called as A1 and A2. This will be used for visible outlines and visible edges. We have a, a uh, drawing, what is visible outline, visible edges, all these, what are the applications we are going to discuss with the proper uh, sketch, okay. And next, <clears throat> continuous thin, that is width, width of the line is, will be less than 0.2, will be there. Uh, and where and all the, the notations are like this, B1, B2, B3, up to B7, they action. And where and all they can use it, imaginary lines, then leader lines or section lines or outlines or short center lines. These are the application for this kind of representation. We need to use the thin line, continuous line. Then continuous 
in free and free and means just like a wave wave lines the curve lines we can say where and all they can use it the limits uh, the limits or the sections short break lines they are going to use it that is called as c1 and c2 in continuous thin straight zigzag lines so what is this zigzag lines where they can use it the long break lines they will use in uh, application of long break and next the thick dash line the thick dash line will be used for hidden outlines or hidden edges it is given as e1 and e2 then thin dash line it will be used for hidden outlines or hidden edges of the inside uh, in the drawings they will going to use it and chain thin chain thin and they will going to use it for center line line of symmetry or trajectories they will going to use it and then chain thin with the end of the lines are thick or at the bending they are in thick these kind of lines will be used for cutting plane or section view they will going to use it chain thick it these lines of will be used for indication of uh, a surfaces which is uh, specially treatment applies and chain double dashed this will be used for outlines of adjacent parts or alternative and extreme position of a movable parts and centroidal lines so these are the different kind of lines and where they wear on the application of this this is a, a drawing you can see different kind of lines where and all they use see what is a1 a1 i said is that the a1 means this is right continuous line what is that visible outlines in the drawing see this is the visible outlines of the component they use the a1 b is there c1 the center lines this is the center of the component they can use it uh center lines and i said you know p, p is a direction of view the h1 these are the h1 lines so h1 cutting lines are planes. cutting planes okay like this and then uh, uh, this is b2 b2 is dimension lines this is what dimension lines okay dimension lines is it like this in a drawing the different the uh, application we use uh, we use a different type of uh, lines so this is what uh, the drawing should be done with the proper view see this is the section break see this is the section break that means this component has furthermore part means see this extensions is there this is not an, a complete part this means this sketch this as a complete product this is a complete view of a product but this is a part of a view this after of this sketch also some portion of the information is there but we are taken only the limiting so that's why it shown with the a continuous curve line or free and line and with the zigzag line zigzag line means this is just a section of the product furthermore information is there but we limiting to only this section this is what the different kind of lines and their applications and this is also outline dimension line extension line hidden lines cutting plane lines center line leader line so like this locus line See, these are the different kind of lines and their application understood so your lettering uh, is uh, i told you <coughs> See, these are the letterings the, the central line cutting line whatever written how it is written see everything is unique no you can observe the uniqueness in among all the letters right how they did it what standard they follow that basic information we'll going to discuss we'll not go much deeper here we'll just discuss the overview because we are not doing lettering here this letterings and all they can use it in earlier uh, the way they were manual drawings whatever they do no that time they were using all this nowadays the software is made man lazy because if you give just one click you will get everything every template you will get it so easily copy paste copy paste will do it isn't it the lettering uh, this is uh, how the letterings will be done in a uh, in systematic way a classification will be a single stroke letters in single stroke letters means without stopping without overwriting the one stroke we need to write the letterings and in the letterings we have mainly two type vertical lettering and incline that is incline italian lettering and whatever we say no that is a incline lettering and vertical straight vertical letterings will write it and in inclined lettering will be having the inclination of 75 degree and the ratio of height and width the each letter will have the height and width uh, the ratio will be 6 6 is to 
and this one and lettering generally done in a capital letters most of the drawings will have the capital letters you can see everything will be capital lettering and the lower case lettering generally used in uh, architectural drawings in architectural drawings they can they may use the uh, lower case lettering and rest of the things in they can use the capital letters the spacing between two letters should not be in necessarily equal the uh, it's not to be uh, necessary uh, like they can vary a small thing and they can do it with the proper uh, equal maintaining and then uh, lettering should <coughs> be so placed that they do not appear to close together or too much apart that is what i said it it should not be too uh, pa uh, apart from each other and too close to the each other they proper in in nominal uh, at the distance we need to give and we need to maintain it it should be look like adequate it should and the distance between two words must be uniform and at least equal to the height of the letter the one letter to another sorry one word to another word the distance should be maintained uniquely and lettering except the dimension figure should be underlined to make them more prominent the dimension dimension figure means the number Uh, the width what you 10 mm 20 mm we give no that should not be underlined rest of the whatever the letterings we do it should be underlined to make the make uh, prominent see the different title size the main title we should have the and uh, uh, length uh, the dimension of the letter should be 6 to 8 mm and subtitle should have the dimension 3 to 6 mm width and uh, height the ratio and uh, notes and dimension figure should have 3 to 5 mm and drawing number should have 10 to 12 mm these are the some of the uh, dimension and lettering see, this is how the lettering will be see dimensions this is the h height of capital letter this h is height of cas uh, capital letters there and this one is see a height of lower case letters and distance between the two words and distance between each word and the thickness of the of each letters and is the distance between first line to second line spacing between the lines so these are the the things commonly they will go into uh, maintain it See, this is the and a chart we have after letters if the h is 2.5 what should be the rest of the things the ratio the lower case letter should be 5 by 7th of h like this the the every dimension will be followed with the standard ratio of the once you take the uh, <clears throat> the first letter 2.5. If you take the 2.5 mm, then the rest of the thing should be followed like this. If you take 3.5 mm dimension, then the rest of the thing should be followed like this. So this is a standard chart. Uh, they will going to use it. See, this is the sample of lettering. How they do it in a graph. What is the width? Two boxes, three in the graph. How it looks in a capital letters and lower case. it's a, a filled without filled the gas is filled here and is not gaps are not filled they can open and in the lines how it will look maybe upper case and numberings and uh, a lower case letterings and all 